Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the Rex Capital channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. We're going to do a Bitcoin price update through the lens of the Wyckoff distribution schematic because we've seen an interesting update here since that video that I posted on the Wyckoff view where I think that we might be in the Wyckoff cycle. And you can see here, well, first of all, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. We'll also be looking at not only the Wyckoff distribution schematic, schematic and the newest price action that we've seen develop since the previous video about the Wyckoff schematic but we're also going to be focusing on the pi cycle top indicator and how these two perspectives can gel in together so feel free to like the video if you of course like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future let's dive right in and right over here in the previous video through the Wyckoff schematic why I essentially thought and still think is that we are currently in this period where we're seeing lower highs and lower lows, which corresponds to the last point of supply and sign of weakness phase, which should be occurring at around the bottom of the distribution range of this Wyckoff range. But you can actually see that this is the bottom of the range, 43,000 to 45,000, but we're not forming this downtrending wedging structure at the bottom of this base. We're actually forming the structure a little bit lower than that, having overextended towards the downside after the crash. And now theoretically, we should be forming this structure at a bit higher levels. But overall, what the whole thing that I'm thinking about right now is that this is a distribution range and this wedge should be forming at higher levels because ultimately what this wedge is doing is that it is confirming you have the breakdown here and then you see price recover towards the bottom of the range just to confirm that Wyckoff distribution breakdown. So this phase ultimately does have a lot of psychological things behind it. And I mentioned that in the previous video, but the technicals behind this is that this is essentially the phase where Bitcoin's price action needs to confirm this breakout or at least break down, it needs to confirm this distribution range because we see distribution break down from here and now we have to relief rally towards the bottom of this range just to see if this bottom of the range is now a new resistance or new support and that's essentially what bitcoin needs to be doing now so that would imply a break up towards the downside of course we we saw a breakdown or at least a further consolidation further setting in of lower lows inside this downtrending wedging structure and a breakout from here should get us to that relief point just to test that resistance as a new resistance or try and break back above it into claiming it into a new support. That's what the most important thing is about this technical structure right now. And we are just a little bit overextended towards the downside but this is what it's all about right now. So ultimately, when it comes to this Wyckoff distribution range, this is still an unconfirmed distribution range and we need to see whether that's a confirmed distribution range. And the thing about this is that previously we've seen Bitcoin's price action mark out local tops, never a market cycle top through the lens of the Wyckoff distribution range. So my idea here is that if we indeed break out towards the upside, that would be the relief rally to make a crucial test. And if we break past here, that would be a invalidation of this overall Wyckoff distribution range. And that would be fantastic because we wouldn't see phase E in that case, which is what I spoke about in a previous video. And the pi cycle top indicator over here is quite interesting. And I mentioned this in yesterday's video. So feel free to check that out if you haven't. Check it out in the top right hand corner. There's a tab coming up right now. But in any case, the pi cycle top indicator is an interesting one because it might be showing some confluence with the Wyckoff schematic. And I'm going to explain to you why. So for an overview of the of my thoughts about the pi cycle top indicator overall, I spoke about that yesterday. But what I didn't mention yesterday is that whenever we see this is the crossover to just form the peak. And then whenever we see that cross back over, Bitcoin tends to figure 
this uh, 111 day MA tends to figure as a resistance, of course, in this part of the mid cycle, that's where we go against the trend. But generally, when you see that cross back over after this cycle, for instance, then you see this level breaking back above it, trying to hold it as a support, failing ultimately, and then just holding it as a resistance. And once again, we broke past here, but failed to hold it as a support and then resistance once again. And actually in the new cycle, you see this key MA hold as a support consistently until it once again crosses back over once we've peaked crossing back over just to form a resistance. And this resistance tendency is so much more clearer right over here, resisting, resisting price. And then once it breaks past here, you see a new trend develop. And then once we break down, failing to hold it as a support, resistance again, break above it, failure as a support, but we broke above it and we're holding as support going forward. So that's a brief, brief story of how key this MA is in terms of resistance or support. So whenever we see a Pi cycle top, like we saw for instance over here, we tend to see Bitcoin's price action relief rally. And you can see here that we saw that relief rally into the orange MA, right? So that orange MA is figuring as a new resistance. You don't see that necessarily over here because we just barely miss the orange MA, right? We indeed, in fact, uh, instead rather, that's the, that's the word I'm looking for, apologies. We actually claim this green resistance, which is only the second MA of this Pi cycle top indicator as a resistance. So rather than rallying here and turning this into a resistance, then we just rally here and turn that into a resistance and pull back. And then we get back to this MA actually figuring as a resistance. So overall, what I'm trying to say here, two very key things. Whenever a Pi cycle top forms, number one, whenever a Pi cycle top forms, we see a relief rally in Bitcoin's price action. And number two, that relief rally tends to rally towards the MA, the 111 MA, the orange line for that resistance test, which would imply that if we do get that break back into the range, right? So if we just go back to the Wyckoff schematic, if we break out from this wedging structure and test the bottom of the range, that's 45 to 43,000. Historically, whenever Bitcoin forms a Wyckoff distribution range, it's only a local top, so not a market cycle top. And there's a big difference there because if indeed history repeats for Bitcoin's price action, we'll see a breakout from here, break back into this range just to invalidate this entire range. Because remember, this is an unconfirmed Wyckoff distribution range. Once we break back into this range, that will mean that we've invalidated the range and that will probably tie in with an interesting thing because this MA resistance over here will be a key point to watch out for. So let's just zoom into this current market cycle breaking out towards this MA which of course you can see is really declining here. It's actually curling over, curling down, rolling over and it's going to be rallying or at least uh, going down to lower price levels. But that current price level is 51,000. So if we break out towards the upside over the coming days or weeks, however long it might take, then this MA is still going to keep on rolling over. At current price levels, that's $51,000. So if we see a relief rally towards that $51,000 region, well then, through the lens of the Wyckoff schematic, we've broken out from here, broken back into the distribution range, and that invalidates this in entire distribution range. So you can actually make a case for this distribution being totally over and not being fully confirmed. And now that goes out the window. If we indeed rally towards 51,000 to test that Pi cycle MA resistance. But if the Pi cycle MA resistance continues to fall down, I don't know how much it could fall down within the period of days or weeks that it takes for Bitcoin to break out towards the upside. Could it fall down to as low as 45 or 42? That seems a bit far-fetched far and it would be now trying to fit this bias and have confluence between these two indicators. But ultimately, the key areas to watch out for in the Wyckoff schematic is the diagonal of this range, or at least this wedging structure, apologies, 
and a breakout towards the 42, 43, 45 region for that very key retest. Whether or not this is a confirmed distribution range, and if we break back in here, the next region to watch out for would be the Pi Cycle Top MA right over here. However low it continues to go, at the moment it's 51,000. So really interesting to see that confluence. This is where I believe we are in the cycle when it comes to the Wyckoff distribution range. We're not in phase E. Not yet, at least, we still have to contend with whether or not this distribution range is a confirmed one, whether we've seen a confirmed breakdown. We haven't answered those questions yet, and it's been a long wait so far because it's been many weeks already of consolidation, of lower lows, lower highs. But as long as Bitcoin's able to now daily close, Above these lows right over here, you can see Bitcoin peaking, right? So on a daily time frame, if we can close daily candle close above these two lows, then we're probably going to see a pullback into this level before trying to challenge for this lower high resistance and ultimately for a breakout from this wedging structure. So in any case, guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like it, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And of course, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. I'm Wrecked Capital, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.